Mirida crew is joining the first training camp of 2022 season from the Bahrain Victorious team. So let's see what's inside of a training camp like this. We have the opportunity to catch up uh, Peyo Bilbao after uh, his meeting with a nutritionist. So let's see. We we'll talk with him and uh, let's know uh, what's uh, what's the plan for him. Pasa Peyo, we saw you with a nutritionist. This is uh, a key, important, important key for the for the season and also for the first training camp. It's becoming more and more important for us. You know, the help of uh, the nutritionist and we were organizing a bit. Uh, the season in terms of uh, uh, supplementation and, and just to organize how we need to arrive to, to every important uh, point in the season, the perfect way, discussing a bit uh, how we are going to organize all this. We keep in contact uh, and he also works together with the trainer now to organize the, the trainings and the intakes and all this. And, and after we have uh, three nutritionists this year working uh, together with us, after more than 10 years as a professional, you are more about the old school nutrition guy, rider, or you update to the new trends? Yeah, I like to follow the, the new guidelines. No? I, I think the, the science is super important in our sport, but also we need to, to have a good chuleton maybe for the, for the rest day. Or... A, break, a break moment. Yeah, yeah break, break moment. Season. Break moment. You were at the nutritionist, then photo shooting for media, uh, portraits, internet, and now you go to uh, doctor checking? Doctor visit, yeah. Beginning of the year, it's uh, typical to make uh, the first physical test with the doctor. We are lucky to catch up uh, Mikel Landa. Uh, just after the, the test, how is how is your feeling? Yeah, the feeling is not the best. <laughs> we are coming from a long winter, no bike, so it's always hard to do this test. Today is the first day they will ride with the new bike, so it's a kind of a setup uh, riding just to feel comfortable on the bike. So um, this is the opportunity to join the group. I'm not in shape, so uh, let's see. Let's follow me. Now it's time to ride the bike. So three hours, 100 kilometers with the complete team. I'm gonna join them. This is a lucky time for me. Let's see. Ralph Tide, former uh, mountain bike mechanic at the multi successful multi-bike Merida biking team. How important is to have 
for a team like uh, Bahrain Victorious to have a, a mechanic or a person, a technical guy from, uh, from the company, from the area. You are the link between the company Merida, Merida Bikes and the team. The, the development, person, yeah. yeah. You are in the middle, so you get the feedback yeah, from the yeah. team and those feedbacks, they go to the company exactly. to improve the bike year by year. I think the, the engineer have to understand the, the problems what the team have, yeah. And I think uh, a mechanic uh, from the past know all the problems, yeah, the small problems, understand it better, like uh, sometimes the engineers, and then it's better to translate them what, what's happened, really, what's important. There are some small pieces uh, changing in the frame and makes a lot of uh, help for, uh, for the mechanics in the team. You follow the team the whole year? Yeah, more or less, yeah. More or less, yeah. yeah, not all races for sure, but uh, I think 100, 120 days in a year. So we are uh, the fifth uh, team last year, 2021. Yeah. It's the fifth team of, of the world, successful team since yeah. uh, 2017, especially in 2021. Yeah. World Tour, small races, big races. Yeah, yeah. Paris Rouge, big successful was from uh, unbelievable. Cobrelli. I followed the race in the in the TV, and uh, I said to my women, "We crying two times in front <laughs> of the TV. One was Titanic, and the second one was uh, Rouge." <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good one. Uh, from the beginning, Marina Marina bikes were they were quite focused in the Paris Roubaix. It's a monument, yeah. It's a if monument. You win, when you win this race, uh, it's a dream, not just for the rider, also for for the staff, for the for the brand. How important is for the company uh, this kind of training camps uh, really early in the season? In my opinion, it's it's the most important time because now you have time in the training camp. It's not always racing and uh, looking for performance. To, yeah, exactly. You have can spoke uh, tranquilo with the rider, with the with the mechanics, and everything is relaxed and yeah, it helps a lot for okay, the season. Better approach. Yeah. And now we are with the chief of mechanics in the Bahrain Victorious. Yeah. Uh, Philip Tishma, you told me that uh, you are a little bit relaxed now, now because last, last week you had a, quite a busy week. We first had to make sure that all the components come in and then like always there's one or two components missing so we're rushing to get that in place for the bike build. So all the mechanics basically build four bikes per, per rider, there's a couple of national champion frames missing so this is to come in a uh, coming week or so. Basically build 100 of the 108 bikes needed. 108 for bikes for a complete season? Or you get extras? So we do a bit of extra bikes later, but 108 bikes at the moment will cover four bikes per rider. And then coming into Giro, or sometimes before Giro, we will build a fourth race bike. Because from the four bikes we build now, one is obviously a training bike, so we have three race bikes. And then coming into Giro, we will do the Ford bike, just to keep us a spare. How many mechanics has a, a team like uh, Bahrain Victorious? So there's, uh, apart from the mechanics here, there's nine of us here. There's another two guys back home in Slovenia doing the service course. So I, I kind of take care of service course and the mechanics, uh, looking that the job, jobs are getting done in service course and that they support the guys on the road. Some impressive figures you can tell us. 300 sets of wheels at least. 300 sets. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Tires? Yeah. So it's around 1,000, 1,100. Going on to tubular, or oh, to tubeless tire now. Tire is slightly softer, so got gets used faster. faster. So the numbers are going up. Quite impressive uh, numbers from, from the team. So um, we yeah. wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, in training camps like this one, early in the season, it's always important because you met the new riders, you met the new material, new stuff, but also the riders that don't have to forget the important thing, that it's also to perform. And one important key to perform is the recovery. Let's check with uh, Matej Mohoric in his massage uh, session. Multi-stage winner, Tour de France. World champion under 23. How important is uh, the massage also in this kind of uh, training camps early in the season? Because I think it's important because the better you recover, the better you can train, and the more you train, the better you are essentially. No, so it's, uh, it's quite important uh, to get it sorted out. If you have any physical problems, I don't usually, but uh, 
Yeah, it's still a yeah. nice, nice way to finish off the day. And, uh, well, important person. Let's ask uh, to Borut. Borut, uh, the massage during training camps. I think that there are just two kind of massages that exist in the world. So it's a good one and bad one. Actually, <laughs> uh, we need to adapt and speak also with Ryder what he likes. And uh, I think that's the good massage at the end of the day. So it's there is no really big difference between this massage and massage during the race. So it's just you need to feel the muscle and uh, don't be too smart and that's it. Thanks a lot for your time, yeah. for uh, your uh, time doing your relax time. That is also <laughs> important. And um, keep going. Okay. Good luck for the season. Thank you guys. See you. Ciao. Training come. Two separate rooms for lunch and dinner and breakfast. One for the staff, they get the, the restaurant from the hotel. And the other room is for riders that they have a personal and exclusive cooker from the Bahrain Victorious team. Let's catch the cooker. Hello! Probably the most important person of the team, <laughs> the official cooker of Bahrain Victorious. That's right. How important is a training camp like this, new riders, staff, the nutrition in a training camp is completely different than the nutrition in a race? It's completely different, it's very important also for riders, but also for us to, to see what, what riders like, uh, the habits of riders, everything, and uh, to introduce our way of working to the riders and riders to us. So, that we know what they want to eat, what they like to, to eat, yeah, what prefer, what not prefer. When season starts, when race starts, that we will be prepared 100%. The nutrition team have a three nutritionists. Yeah. They prepare a menu, the guide menu. Then we decide the way of cooking and uh, in which way we will prepare the food. But at the end, it's supposed to be nice for eat, good taste and are nice for see. So the diet of a, a top athlete is not salad, rice no, and water. No. This is a no, meat. No, no. Top athletes uh, eat uh, very different foods. They eat uh, everything, meat, fish, desserts. Depends on the stage next day and depends how he feels. And depends what said our nutritionist at the end. <laughs> you are alone in the team as a cooker or you have No, no, we have another chef and we split the races. Here in the training camp, we see you working inside the hotel kitchen. Yes. Not always is like this. No, no. But uh, depend. We have a kitchen truck. Kitchen truck go on, going on grand tours and most important races. When kitchen truck isn't with us, then we go to the to the hotels and restaurant kitchens. So I'm sure your menus make the riders feel like a home. Congratulations. Thank you very much. And uh, for sure, for sure. One part of the cake was yours. Thank you very much. 2021. Nice to meet Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. After a first day riding with the boys, today it's time to join the mechanics. Be inside the car of Bahrain Victorious. Let's see. Follow us. Hello, with another. Way behind the truck. We are inside the, the team car. Uh, today is a uh, training, training in the mountains. What's the function of a director sportive in a training camp? So we are planning uh, a lot for the season, so the guys there can there can get the race program and uh, it's uh, the daily routine of many meetings with the coaches and the staff. And here we have uh, one of the mechanics of the team, David Fernandez. Hello. For the training and for the race, normal inside the car is exactly exactly the same toolbox and some tools i have here for some when have some problem when they rain and have here some jackets and gloves and everything boys we have the opportunity to see one of the most secret places in the team this is the team bus
Well boys, I think I could be professional like this. We are inside the Bahrain Victorious uh, bus. In my left is the big, big chef of the truck, the driver. What's the function of a bus? This is uh, for us like uh, traveling home. I mean, home who is traveling. That's mean for the riders, it's uh, everything. You have uh, cold drinks, most important coffee, then uh, showers, toilet, and yeah. Uh, riders feel like at home and they take clothes, all this food and everything what they need. Like uh, You as the owner of the truck? You are the papa of them? Yeah, papa and mama, no? <laughs> <laughs> you need to take care, I mean, clean everything, uh, prepare, uh, fill the fridge with uh, water, cold drinks, soft drinks, uh, and yeah, however, in the end you are barista. And then you use the truck from the race to the hotel. This is a transfer Yeah, uh, yeah. The, tour. the tour is from the hotel to the start, from uh, start to the finish, and uh, from finish to the hotel, yeah. and. Me, like a driver, you need to be also patient and uh, take care that guys feel safe when they are traveling. Tony Colberry, Paris Roubaix winner. That's it. Capital letters. Winner, Paris Roubaix. That's it. Cut, cut, cut. A warm welcome to Andreas Rotler, general manager in Europe for Merida Bikes. How important for the company Merida Bikes is to join the first training camp of the season 2022? It's super important to be here because we take the chance to present our material updates. We also launch a new bike, but it uh, will be super interesting. Now it's, it's fine. We collected uh, information before this camp and then we worked on these matters and now it's pretty good and to have the chance to talk to the racers, it's quite good and to give them the, all the material updates. For Merida Bikes, a well-known company in the off-road circuit <laughs> for a long, long time. And now on the road and especially in the beginning of the team, was uh, the main focus was uh, the classics and especially the Rube in 2017. Now 2021, you reach that goal with uh, Sonny Cobrelli. <laughs> How big was the impact of the company to get uh, a Paris-Roubaix with Sonny Cobrelli, also a rider from the beginning in the team. And, and yeah. especially when the team has also the roots from the, from the dust. <laughs> our roots are the mountain biking, but uh, you know it. Yes. You joined our team for many, many years as a super strong MTB racer and world champion and Olympic silver medalist. And so the roots are clear. Now we, we stepped in 2013 in the World Tour and you have goals of course it's a dream to reach a, a leader jersey it's a dream to win a monument we achieved paris roubaix in a really impressive way uh, in october not in april in october due to the pandemic so it was quite uh, amazing this is nice to hear from uh, from the company that shows also the passion uh, of merida bikes for the classic for the all kind of racing not only mountain bike yeah. uh, Grand tours, uh, road. Thanks a lot for join uh, for join us, and uh, thanks a lot for, uh, of course, for joining the training camp. See you soon. See you. Well, amigos, it's been a unique opportunity and a pleasure to join the Bahrain Victorious training camp, especially together with uh, the bicycle partner Merida Bikes. I hope after some days with the training camp with the team, you have a clear idea about what's inside a training camp with a pro team. See you next time, see you on the road. Ciao.